guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you that I'm super excited about. It's mostly all crafty stuff for a project I have coming up. It's true. Uh, but first, what am I drinking? I have pumpkin spice iced coffee. It's 90 out today. What I did is I brewed and I did regular brew some ice or some pumpkin spice and put it in the fridge. I have some cream in here and sweetener. That's it. Mmm. Delish. So I have that today. But I want to show you something I ordered. <sighs> eBay Wish something or other. But anyway, they're ring sizers. Look at that. You probably can't see it through the bag, but I'll show you what they do is they uncoil and you wrap them around your ring. You see that? So my rings are big and I love this ring and I'm not ready to size it, but it was, sometimes my hand gets so like thin that it like slips off. So this just keeps it from doing that, but it certainly isn't stuck. It just takes up a little bit of the of the gap in your jewelry until you're ready to get it sized. So done. Ah, and I got two big ones, three big ones and three small ones. I used the small one and they um, were like a dollar or two and they work great. And it came with some nasty, that's going in the trash. It's supposed to be like a ring cleaner, but it's polyester. But I'll put this in with my jewelry case I need it. There you go. Wasn't that a nice how do you do today? <laughs> it is Tuesday. You probably won't see this till Thursday because I have my craft room tour coming up. I hope you all have seen that. Ugh, it took me all day to clean this room, but you'll see that in the video. So I have a very tiny, tiny little haul here, um, but I'm going to show you this stuff and stuff I picked up at Joanne to do my plan with these witches frames, the witch's hat. I've got two plans for them because I have two witch's hats and I will, oh, sorry, I'm bending over here because I dropped them. I have two of those and I'm making one fall hat and one Halloween hat, but you'll see that on my DIY. But right now I brought some materials, but first I grabbed this another dish drying rack. I like these a lot. They don't last forever. Um, I'm not even sure if you can wash them, but for a dollar. But I like the black to go with my black and white buffalo check in my kitchen. So I grabbed a black one. I don't often see them in black, so I grabbed one. Um, for my front porch, I grabbed two of these baskets. I'm hoping this weekend after the Buckeyes game to do my front porch. And I'm thinking of getting some mums and putting them in these on my front porch with my pumpkin sign and I thought this would be perfect for that so I did buy two of them I'm not stacking them because they get stuck and then I broke a nail trying to separate them and I shouldn't get hurt from the Dollar Tree okay what else did I get oh they have their snuggle socks out and I need you to be feast your eyes on these they're llamas yeah, they are. Yes, they are. Let's take them apart. I'm going to use some wire snips because that's what's sitting here on my desk. I like these because they're, they're little no-shows. Um, I think that's a llama. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a llama. Is that not adorable? They had all kinds of animals, but I just liked these, so I picked them up. And one pair will last me through the winter. I usually just wear them around the house if my feet get cold. So one pair is fine, but they're cute and they're super soft. So I grabbed a pair of those. I found some pens for my bullet journaling. Look at these fall colors. Ugh. And I, have, I bought two packages of these because I feel like they'll go and not come back. Um, and these are Greenbrier and they're a gel. They're not fantastic like the other gel pens, but they'll work. And look at the fall colors, the green, the brown, this, it's very bright yellow. I have a gold that I prefer. And then the orange and then this color here, which I like too. They're kind of muted greens and blues and this even pink, but I feel like these are good fall colors for my bullet journal. So I grabbed two packs of this and one of that. 
because that's how I roll. I picked up a three pack of the twine. A to have, but it might come into play with one of my witch's hats. So I needed some more. I grabbed a three pack of that. Um, for the Halloween witch, I grabbed three of these creepy cloths in black. They're almost like a fishnet. And I'm hoping three will be enough, but we'll see. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to cut it into strips. So I, I'll get it together. I got the solid black, but they also have like a grayish color. Um, let's see if I can get these open without breaking them. This is definitely something you want to cut. And I think the wire nips are an overkill. I'm not going to lie, but you do what you got to do. So, I'm, and if I need more, I will go get more. And I may even have more in my Halloween tote in my closet because I may need more to get the coverage that I want. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. And this is still double thick. So you can see straight through it, which I think will be okay because I am going to wrap it around it. I'm, I'm going to cut it in strips and wrap it like a mummy. So I feel like even doubled, yeah, you can still see a little bit, but when you have it wrapped like that, now you're talking four times around. So, um, I may need one more, but I'll check my stash. So if you're going to do this along, maybe pick up four of these creepy cloths. I really wasn't sure how big they were. So I, but I bought three today and you can do whatever you want, whatever color you want. You don't even have to use creepy cloth. But that's what I bought to use. I'm trying to keep it clean in here, guys. I'm trying so hard. And then I wanted purple. I'm going to take this out of its plastic because you definitely won't see it. I wanted purple to accent my black for the witches one. So this is not the deco mesh. This is sparkle tool. And if you can see, it's purple and there's a little sparkle in it. I'm going to kind of mush this up. Not like the deco mesh, you'll see. I have an idea. And I also want to use it to wrap around the brim, like to ship the purple of the hat. So I'm pretty sure one spool is enough for that because I'm just going to double it like that for one wrap around and then the rest I will use. So I think one spool of this is fine. But again, if you think you want more, you can always get a second one. Um, they also have this stuff in the fall if you want to do like a fall witch's hat like the other one that I'm doing. But that is it for the Dollar Tree haul. I didn't really need a lot. I'm super excited that they're coming out with these things. And I may have to pick up some other pairs for like gifts for work. That may need to happen because I think... I'm going to do my video again this year of little work gifts. And wouldn't that look super cute with like a nail polish or some foot cream? Just a fun little, a fun little gift. So yeah, I may have to pick up some more of those. Now, so the witch's hat is going to be all Dollar Tree. The scarecrow hat that I'm doing for fall is not. I went to Joanne Fabric. However, these were 99 cents. And they actually clip on, so if I don't, I can clip them on and then take them off. And they had them in white too, but I just wanted the two to go on the hat somewhere. So I grabbed two. They were so that's a dollar, right? Like that's Dollar Tree. Um, I got some of this green, and it's decorative ribbon. There's 12 feet in here. I think it's like a burlap. To be honest with you I don't know what the texture is yet but we'll open it and see but this is like a, a greenish color and then that this was a dollar 97 but look at that bow I mean ribbon for bows with the gold I think it'll be fun to bring in a little earthy a little sparkle and this was a dollar 97 and there are regularly 9.99 guys and it was on sale for a dollar 97 um oh where are we at here 15 feet of this. So that'll be plenty to make that hat. Um, I also am going to use some Excelsior, which I have already. So I didn't buy that at the Dollar Tree. And then I bought, look at this brown burlap. Is that not beautiful? 
was $3.99 a yard and I got it on 30% off so I paid $2.79 a yard and I purchased two yards and again I'm not sure how much of this I will need um, because I'm going to cut this into strips as well but this won't need quite as much wrapping because it's pretty tight woven and you want to have a little see-through on it so I will start on this because I think this would also make an awesome table runner uh, for like Thanksgiving maybe if I want to mix up so what I'm going to do is cut it into strips and we'll see how much of it I need I can always go get more for $2.79 a yard I can buy more so that is all of the things that I purchased yes so the scarecrow one six dollars seven eight nine ten twelve dollars I don't think that's bad. The Dollar Tree one will be like $6. And again, you can use whatever you have at home. I wanted this for my front door. Oh, I'm banging things here. Um, yeah, so that is everything. I'm going to pull you up a little closer. You're falling off the table. <gasps> that's everything the boys are eating, or I would have them come say hi. Um, I'm sure they'll be here when I'm working on the crafts. But I will see you later, and you have a good one. Bye. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Woo-hoo! Oh, go Bucks. Have a good one. Bye!